Hello, this is Sir Pop Dude 4 and today I'm going to be teaching you about the basic hotkeys and the interface in Blender 2.48. The reason why I made this tutorial was for uh, beginners uh, so that they can actually get what to do when someone says like uh, subdivide or something. They'll know what buttons to press because I had uh, trouble with that in the past. So, if you press X, uh, while you have an object selected, it'll delete it. If you press space, and then it'll pull up this toolbar that lets you ren use the render view object and all that. You you can add uh, just random objects. Add plane. And you can right click an object to select it. So it should have a pink circle, uh, pink outline like you see right here. Now you can shift right click and then right click. Uh, well, you can right click on one object, then shift right click on another. It'll highlight both. If you press Control P, it'll make it apparent. And then you can move around both objects at one time. If you press zero, it'll let you go into the camera view of what you will see when you render. If you use the, uh, wait, it says you on the number pad. If you use the two, four, six, and eight on the number pad, it will move around your camera view. If you go down here to this little view panel, it'll also let you uh, change view. One second. Up here, there's this little thing that says SR colon 2 dash model. You can change that to go from model view to animation, which brings up a bunch of animation toolbars you might need. You can also go to material, which will help you with adding materials and stuff onto your object, and it'll show you all th uh, three different views of an object. You press sequence, and it'll bring you into the sequence mode. And you can also press scripting, that way you can do scripting for objects. So now if you cl click on the object, uh, this is the editing tab, and it'll let you do simple things like add on a modifier, which could create a motion or change the way on how something looks. You can also uh, set something smooth or solid, which will uh, create uh, hard square faces on it with uh, corners in it, or it will smooth out the edges of an object. Then you can go over to this little button. This is the render settings. This is what will help you actually see what your model will look like. So if you press render right now, that's what we would see. Not very much, but. And you can also press anim to uh, run your object through the animation sequence, and press play to run it at full speed. If you press Alt A, you'll see this little box pop up with numbers, and that uh, lets you animate something without seeing the full detail. You can right click to get out of that. Now, th this little arrow thing is the objects tab. You can uh, go to the objects mode where you can just edit uh, a bunch of different things about the object. The particles tab, which lets you create particle effects such as hair or little glowing dots and then there's also the physics tab which lets you create fluids, a soft body, cloth, collision. Then over here we have the materials tab which lets you edit the background so right now it's blue black black with stars then there's also this texture tab which allows you to add textures which will give uh, more detail onto your object like uh, color then there's also the links and pipeline type thing and you, if you press add new it will let you recolor things add in transparency and stuff like that then there's also the scripting tab which I'm not going to get much into because I don't know too much scripting and there's also the logics tab which helps you create things like physics 
Now up here, uh, you'll see that there's this little hand that you can click and uh, it will highlight and unhighlight. I suggest that you keep it highlighted because then you'll get these three tools. This tool lets you resize an object because now you'll see that there's little dots over on the side. This tool lets you move around an object. And this tool lets you rotate an object. Here it's easier to see in this mode. If you press S on the keyboard, it'll let you resize an object. And if you press G, it'll let you move around. If you press Tab, it'll change you from object mode to editing mode, which I'm not going to get to uh, right now. And if you press A, it'll unselect all objects. And then if you press A again, it'll select all objects. That is the basic user interface of Blender 2.48. I hope that that was a big help to you, and yeah, bye.